Hello everyone, welcome to the second episode of the project that I'm showing you how to create a roleplay some server from scratch. In today's episode I'm gonna show you how to set the player's essential things, for example like uh, how to change the player's skin, how to set uh, the player's level, money and we are gonna add some extra features. So, to set the player skin, we have to decide when are we gonna do that. So we are not gonna do it here, we are gonna do when the player spawn. On player spawn, so you have to go in here, between the, the open brackets and the return, you have to type uh, set player skin, open parentheses, we are gonna set the player ID, you can see the player ID from here. We can set the player skin to which uh, skin we want. We just have to type a number, for example 6. You can check the other skins on on the internet. Just type some uh, skin IDs and you'll have them and just type the ID in here. And when the player spawns, his skin is gonna be set to 60, to ID 60. The next thing, I wanna set his level. We can do that also when he spawns, so set player level, no no level, I'm sorry, set player score, open parenthesis, player ID again, and what level we want to give him, I'm gonna give him level 1 for now, after that we want to also give him money, so to give him money, I just have to type give player money, player ID and the amount we want to give the player. I'm gonna give him $3060 for example. So to be sure if we just leave this like this he will just get extra $3060. So I'm gonna set reset player money player ID. This is gonna reset the player's money to zero and this is gonna give him $3,600. I'm doing this because sometimes when you leave the server and rejoin again, it can uh, happen that uh, you have $3,600 and the other $3,600 are gonna add to it. So I don't want that. We can compile this and we can check it. Just wait so it's compiled. Okay, it compiled. Okay, I just joined the server and as you can see the player skin is changed, we, uh, we got $3600 up here and if I go top my score is 1, that score is gonna represent the player's level. Okay, after we've done all of that we can close the GTA and I got an include here. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you can download this include. We're gonna take this include and put it into Pavna, into include and just drop it in here. As you can see you have some includes in here, you just drop this CMD in here. After that we open Visual Studio Code and we scroll wherever you like, I like to do it all the way down, we can add a comment that says commands and in here we just uh, type cmd, uh, no I'm sorry, we first uh, have to go up and type include zcmd, like that, we have to have this so it works. So we have we go down, uh, type cmd. We uh, we now have to type the command. The command I'm gonna do and I'm gonna show you in this video is going to be for uh, creating a vehicle. So um, the command for creating a vehicle is gonna be veh. Now open brackets. Type the player ID. This is gonna be which player has typed this command then params and these square brackets. After that you go enter, uh, shift and open brackets, type return 1. This is uh, so the compiler can see this is a, like a function, some type of function. 
after that uh, we just want to create a vehicle so we type create vehicle open brackets we uh, we need to type which type of vehicle i'm gonna do in fairness for 11 which position yeah we have to get the player's position so we go new float because the coordinates are in float uh, x float y and float z you have to type it like this exactly then get player position player id and x y and z this is gonna get the player position from this player and is going to save the x coordinate in this x the y coordinate in this y and the z coordinate in this z so when we again when we use the x y and z uh, elsewhere it's gonna get these coordinates so for the create vehicle we have to put the x y and z coordinates so x y and z be careful uh, not to put small here or small here they have to be exactly the same after th after that we have to type the rotation i'm gonna leave the rotation to 0.0, .0. The color I'm gonna do 3 and 3, that's the red one, and the, the respawn delay is a minus 1, we don't want uh, the car to respawn. If you want to respawn the car, you just type in milliseconds uh, which time. So the command is done, we can go uh, Control shift and b to compile it, it's compiled, if we go to terminal, there is no errors here, so we can start the server okay we go spawn and we spawn here as you can see we have uh, all the money and the player skin again we set that previously so to create the vehicle we just do slash v e h and it's gonna spawn exactly at our location i'm gonna update it so it spawns a little far from us not directly on us so if we go in it, we can drive it. So I'm gonna go to uh, a place to get to get the spawn location. So see you there. Okay, guys. So we arrived at um, our destination. I want to set the player spawn to be here. So the player spawn is gonna be exactly here. I uh, so to get these coordinates, I I'm gonna place myself like this direction that and just gonna type save after save I'm gonna type the name of the save so for example spawn tutorial enter so the the coordinates are saved we, uh, I'm, I can leave the server shut down the server uh, so we have to go to documents uh, get a San Andreas user files go to sump and you have saved position.txt after you've opened that, uh, you get uh, something like exactly this, but the coordinates are gonna be different if you set different spawn. So, to implement the player spawn, we just go to on player request class. We have to place this this camera at the spawn. So, no, we don't need it exactly. We can delete that we can set here yeah exactly here we can just copy and paste this in here and after that just set the player's position this position here set player facing angle set player facing angle to this 85 i'm gonna do 90 just to be straight angle and I'm gonna change this to 90 and I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna set the exact this exactly same thing here so uh, when the player dies it's gonna place him at this location uh, also I'm gonna add the set player camera uh, no it was set camera behind player yes this so the camera is uh, directly behind the player put it also here 
uh, I'm going I'm doing this with alt and uh, down or up keys if you want to uh, duplicate it just uh, hold shift alt and uh, again up or down keys and control Z to undo it another thing I wanted to, to do is to change this I'm gonna set uh, this to plus one so to, to plus two okay uh, so the car doesn't spawn directly into us so we can move and another thing I wanted to do is to change when a player uh, types a command and the command isn't right to this text so we can do it here so we have to type uh, exactly this on player command performed you just rewrite this so after that we uh, we type if success exclamation mark success so this is if it uh, if the command is not successful we return send client message player id uh, comma uh, the color of the text i'm gonna leave it a minus one that's white i'm gonna open quotes and type error uh, that command is un, un, unknown we can all we can add some colors for example ff 0000 I think this is the red one and for example here ff 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 that's the white color and this is uh, the red color so you can also add that and that's it so let's test if our player is spawned at that location okay we have uh, spawned and this is how it looks so if i hit spawn it places here it gives us money it set up it sets a score and that's it if you want to remove the the spawn uh, button i'm gonna show you how we have to just do this so to remove this the spawn uh, we have to delete this and uh, when the player connect when the player connects we just have to set spawn spawn info player id the team is gonna be zero <coughs> uh, the player skin is gonna be 60 which coordinates and which rotation so these coordinates and uh, this rotation weapon zero ammo zero 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 and zero so after that we just go spawn player player id okay as you can see we spawned i had uh, to change the code a little so i'm gonna show you so uh, we have to change we have to change this so we delete this we don't need it and we put uh, this toggle player controllable uh, here it, it has to be in the on player spawn it doesn't matter where just it it has to be here and that's how it will work so that's it for this episode thanks for watching and see you in the next one